Okay, today we're back for another brand new video and in today's video we're going to be talking about another brand new home miner by iPolo called the V1 Mini. This home miner is capable of mining ETH and Ethereum Classic. We're going to be looking at the device, we're going to be checking out specs and we're going to be looking at the profitability of this device and talking about do we possibly want to buy one of these. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Come on. Okay, so we're over here on the iPolo website and you can see here we have the iPolo V Mini ETH Miner. There you go, there's some pictures. It's looking pretty smooth in a silver case. It's a wee bit like the G1 Mini if you've ever heard of the G1 Mini iPolo. And then we go and look at the product specs and they're saying it is gigahash 0.3, so that's 300 megahash. You have a power consumption of 190, I presume, watts. And that's working out as a watt to hash rate or I think they're saying a watt to mega hash rate of 0 0.639 which is very very efficient. You can see the algorithm is ET hash and you can see the digital currencies ETH ETH Classic, Zill, ETP, EXP and I'm presuming you'll be able to buy this direct from iPolo. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever bought a miner from iPolo and what your experience was. I would really love to know. So in terms of profitability we're over here on everyone's favourite mining calculator what to mine and you can see here i've typed in the values so 300 mega hash 190 watts that would be a profit of 15 dollars 48 a day and we go down a little here and you can see obviously that you have your etc as well and at the minute that would be eight dollars 58 and you can also read off the other coins there yourself if you just pause the vid. It looks to me that not only are they bringing out just an ETH home miner, they're also going to be bringing out a specific ETH Classic home miner. And you can see the difference here. They're calling it a V Mini Classic ETC miner. Got a different colour in the images here. The parameters are different. There's a different power consumption and a different hash rate. And if you look in the digital currencies, you cannot mine ETH. It is ETH Classic and the other coins, but no ETH. I'm reading into why they have two devices here and I'm presuming they have the two devices because the ETH device is going to have a higher memory capacity. It's going to have a higher memory capacity in order to deal with the DAG size change which is coming in June, July this summer coming so that you'll be able to mine ETH long term. Well I presume this ETC miner because it doesn't need that headroom to incorporate the DAG size change. So I think that's what's going on there. Hopefully in time we'll find out and we'll be able to get that clarified obviously with memory capacity. So moving on I thought it'd be a good idea to just do a wee comparison between the Yas Miner X4 1U and the V1 Mini and also I put in there the A2000 graphics card as well because it is pretty damn efficient. So let's go and have a wee look over this. And you can see here I put down some of the figures and we have efficiency, price and we have dollar per mega hash. And you can see the efficiency of the X4 1U which is super efficient 0.55. You can see the V1 Mini 0.64. And you can see A2000 rig times 8 which is going to give you 320 mega hash per second. Well in that config that is a 1.6 watt to mega hash. So just running over that you can you can see all the figures. It's going to be so interesting to see what the price of the V1 Mini is going to be. The efficiency is pretty damn good and the thing you have to consider is obviously the X4 1U you're not going to be able to mine straight Ethereum. Probably I would imagine past uh, the summer the quote on the website 09 2022. In the next couple of months you won't be able to mine ETH on the X41U so this is not actually going to be an option. So that has to be considered. So the V1 Mini is pretty interesting and uh, I would be interested in buying it personally. So can't wait to find that out. If anyone knows what the price of the V1 Mini is going to be please put it down in the comment section below. I'm sure it's going to be really really useful for the community in general so please do that. If you know when it's coming out as well please let us know down below as well. Something else that I haven't seen in terms of this miner is supposed to be for home mining. So what is the DB on this miner? Can I stick this under my bed and sleep with it? I don't know but we'll uh, hopefully find out in due course. So that was just a quick rundown of the V1 Mini, the specs, the profitability, just a wee comparison there 
as well. I want to know, are you interested in buying this miner? i got to say, I would be interested myself, but again, obviously, it's all about the price. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you think it might be useful for someone else, please share the video. And also consider subscribing because I'm going to be coming with lots more content just like this. So have a fantastic day everybody and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye just now.